One of the most aggravating things that can happen when you confront a person about the pain that they have caused you for their behavior towards you is not getting an apology from them knowing that they were in the wrong. What's even more aggravating is that when that person likes to flip the switch on you and talks about your shortcomings instead of acknowledging their wrongdoings. Now, the entire conversation is directed towards you, making you out to be the villain. When the conversation started off with just you communicating your feelings and experiences that affected you negatively. Now you're left feeling worse than before and you're wondering if you're delusional. If you've experienced this phenomenon, then you most likely have been gaslighted. The term gaslighting is a psychological manipulation done by a narcissistic individual or they don't have to necessarily always be a narcissist, but done by an individual that makes you question your own reality. Here are eight signs of that you have been gaslighted by someone. Number one, you feel anxiety and confusion. When having a conversation with this person about what they have done to you or how they have made you feel, they divert the conversation back to you and shift the focus and blame you and your issues. This leaves you feeling anxious and your anxiety is heightened because there is negative energy attacking you. You also feel confused about the whole situation and you'll start to think, am I taking this too personal? Is this really my fault? No, you've been gaslighted and you've been manipulated. You've been manipulated so well to the point that this person has you questioning your own reality. When that happens, they have successfully gaslighted you. Number two, you second guess yourself and your own feelings. When you've been manipulated by this person, they have just denied your experience of what really happened, acting as if it isn't a big deal. This makes you view your feelings and emotions in a negative light because they just brushed over everything you have said to them in validating your feelings. They may accuse you of being too sensitive and it leaves you starting to question if you are in fact blowing this out of proportion. Number three, you feel worse after speaking your truth. When you express your feelings and concerns to this person, you hope that there will be a positive outcome to everything. But they put so much negative attention on you that you are left feeling dad, down, sad, and disappointed. You then regret having the conversation in the per first place because you end up very emotional during and afterwards. They did not validate your feelings and they made you feel worse for how you felt. Number four the conversation keeps circling back to you it doesn't matter how kind polite and transparent you are with this person every single point you bring up will result in them quickly throwing shade at you like a boomerang Bow. little to no acknowledgement is done on their end for what you are saying to them about how they have treated you every response is in the efforts to take the attention off of them and on to you, making you out to be the villain when you were personally victimized by Regina George. Okay, number five, you do not feel seen or heard. You can be as transparent as you can possibly be, but you still won't feel heard by this person. They cannot even see the pain that you feel and it causes you to go into fight or flight mode. This person can hear you talk about the distress you are in and not even bat an eye or offer any compassion or support to you. This person lacks empathy and do not understand your feelings. Being gaslit by someone, especially a narcissist, feels like you standing in the middle of a crowded room screaming to the top of your lungs and no one looks up and no one pays attention. It's a very lonely experience. This is what they do to try to hurt you. Number six, you feel very disrespected. While you have calmly and rationally and maturely expressed your pains to this person in a respectful manner, 
because you are not trying to attack them, but simply communicate with them, they do not reciprocate. They will talk down on you. They will insult you, belittle you, demean you. It'll have you feeling like they don't respect you or your feelings at all. This is a person that you trust and love and care for, and they are betraying your trust in that moment. Number seven, you do not receive an apology. Usually when you bring to someone's attention something that they have done to hurt you and how it's affected you in a negative way, a person with emotional maturity will apologize for causing your hurt feelings. Even if they were unaware that it hurt you as much as it did, they will say, sorry, I'm sorry, because they care about you and your feelings and the relationship you have. However, a narcissistic individual cares more about their reputation and keeping up this false image. So apologizing will mean that they are in the wrong, but a narcissist never feels like they are in the wrong. Thus, they are incapable of offering you a sincere apology even after they have abused you because in their mind, they do nothing wrong and everything is justified. And lastly, number eight, you are the only one that apologizes. After this person has manipulated you, lied to you, and painted you out to be the villain, you will find yourself over apologizing this person, apologizing for the way you feel or for the way you felt or how you thought about the situation. Even if deep down you know you were speaking your truth, you feel guilty for speaking up. The narcissist is very clever with their tactic and their words because they want to avoid any responsibility or accountability whatsoever. You were the one that deserved an apology, but you didn't get one. Instead, you apologize for feeling your true feelings. So just think about it. Someone hurt you. And instead of them apologizing, they blame you for how you react and you apologize to them. Like basically, you just apologized to your abuser. Does that make sense? Exactly. Gaslighting is a manipulation tactic so that the person that has abused you does not have to take any accountability. And that is morally wrong. If you've ever been gaslighted by a narcissist, you most likely felt that you are the problem, that you were overthinking, overly sensitive or immature. The reality is you aren't, they are. They just have a skilled way at manipulating you to believe something that is false. Their ego, their ego is more important than your feelings. These types of people do not care about you or your feelings, even if they say that they do. Their actions do not back up their words. This is the type of partner or a friend or family member that is toxic and this will drain you and weigh you down. These people do not deserve your friendship, your time, your energy, your love, your compassion, your empathy, because they cannot even reciprocate it back to you. If you've been gaslighted, that is a sign to cut and run away from that connection, no matter who it is. It's for your peace and your mental sanity. You are better off without them. You deserve people in your life that respect you and care about you and your feelings enough to not go out of their way to hurt you and deny when they know they have wronged you. If you've ever been gaslighted, know that you are not alone. And I truly hope you recognize it and use your discernment and stand firm and strong on yourself and do not allow anyone to gaslight you. Even call them out and say, you're gaslighting. Call them out on their BS. Understand?